So to use a real IBM server, thankfully, IBM gives us some ability to make a real server. You can just go to this page and sign up with a form for an email and click the link, and you will get a, a username and password to have an account on this real mainframe. And to use it, you have to use some special old version of Telnet called TN5250. And that goes to this pub400.com. And it is so old that you have to import packages for old versions of Linux and then install special old versions of libraries. But it is possible to get it running. And you will end up with TN5250, simulating some long gone hardware that did this. Now you connect to the server, you have a username, and you set a password. They give you one and you have to change it. So when you're done, you can get in, and this is how you use it. In the simplest case, you just go through this menu. So for example, the first thing you have to do is figure out where you can store your files. And there's a video explaining the navigation here. But to find, I first have to find my library. So I hit four for files, libraries, and folders, and then two for libraries, and one to work with libraries. And now I can see these are the libraries. And if I press enter, it will give me everything matching this pattern, star libel. And now I can see what they are. And you will see there are various libraries like the system folders. And the only one where I can write files is the one with my name, Sambound1. So I can go into that library. And so um, now you can create a source file and a member. And this is why I thought it's funny when this all started, someone said, oh, at least it's better than RPG. That's what we're going to do. We're going to write RPG first. <laughs> so because RPG is the uh, proprietary mainframe language for IBM computers. And so you make an RPG file by working with files. By the way, you don't have to use this tree menu structured thing. You can learn these commands like WRKF and type them in here or someplace. There's a line towards the bottom, or I'm in a funny place. Uh, let me get the function keys, by the way. You have to use function keys and it's explained in that video um, you got F function keys up to F12, and then I think you use the Alt key to get the next 12 up to 24, and you need them all. So anyway, to exit, I use F3, and here's where you see selection or command. Here I could type any of these commands, like WRKF to work with file, so I don't have to always go through this tree structured directory. But anyway, you create a file, and you assign it a name, and a type, and then you can enter the file. You can create source physical file. If you have to file is what these days you would call a folder. First, you have to create a source file, which is a thing that's going to be stored on the mag tape or whatever it is. And then you create a member. So you edit a source file and that will create a member. And now you tell it it is an RPG file. And now you can type in data, and it will give you this editing field that is intended to look like punch cards. And now you can carefully enter this program in this thing, which is, in fact, very hard to use. You have to first insert lines and then put them in. This is even more hostile than, say, VI. First, you can't put anything. You have to go to the start way back here and use I to insert a line. So you have a blank line, and then you can type in some text. So you can type in, this is hello world in RPG. Free, end free, display, hello. And so you can put in that stuff. Um, it's very easy to make errors and freeze the screen because you move off the visible screen. So I found out just by uh, experience that Control A and F3 will unfreeze it. So anyway, then you have to save the file and compile the file. And you can finally run the file and see hello world. It is a fantastically awkward process. So anyway, you can do this, and then you can actually write some COBOL files and run COBOL on the server. And you will see it is quite difficult to do. But this is how you program it from this simple interface. And if you want to do it 
in a slightly less horrible way, you go get this IBM rational developer thing, which is Windows Java based software that costs $800, but you can get a trial version. And once you've installed this thing, you can then um, work on it here, but it actually remains still considerably difficult to use. I tried to make files locally in a local text editor and upload them. And even when I made an MC Dick text editor, I was still had enormous difficulty doing the file transfer and having it work. It is uh, fantastically difficult, but this is how you get started and learning. There are tools that go with this IBM tool here. This is the thing that moves you towards a more modern graphical COBOL development environment. And like we were talking about earlier, there's a real IBM course where you really get certified in this stuff. And as far as I can tell, the first real class of that happens today. So you can learn the modern tools to do this. And this uh, menu driven thing is what's going on behind the scenes, but you can make it look more like a Windows GUI environment to work in. And uh, that's probably the modern way to do it. <laughs>